This is Artemis Launch Control with an update. Launch Director Charlie Blackwell Thompson has called a scrub for today. History will have to wait. Just three minutes into the launch window, she made the call. Huge disappointment for those gathered along the Space Coast for a glimpse of Artemis 1. I'm pretty bummed I drove from Minnesota. But I had a backup plan, you know? We're at the beach, can't complain. How disappointed are you? Very. Because it's my birthday. This sucks. <laughs> you traveled 10 hours to get here. Yes, 10 hours from Alabama. So how big a deal is this for you? It's a huge deal. It was like the biggest it's rocket ever. You've got Artemis t-shirts. You must be really into this project. Yes, yes. we are. What is it that excites you about it? Is it the fact that it's a woman will go to the moon? Absolutely. A, a person who's Absolutely. of color going to the moon? Absolutely. I think that's huge, especially for our children, you know, just to see something like that. The Vice President Kamala Harris had already arrived at Kennedy Space Center, hoping to witness America's first step towards putting humans back on the moon. But a fuel leak and engine conditioning issues grounded the spacecraft on Launch Pad 39B. This is a brand new rocket. It's not going to fly until it's ready. Space flight is risky. Uh, that's what you do. You buy down that risk. You make it as safe as possible, and of course, that is the whole reason for this test flight. The Artemis program aims to put the first woman and first person of colour on the moon by 2025 and establish a permanent base there from which humans might one day visit Mars. It will be the most consequential launch in a generation when it happens. This is about learning about how one day we can go further. And that is the exciting thing. Whether or not we use the moon as a base or what's called a gateway, a sort of a spacecraft that's in orbit around the moon, we can use those two parts of this Artemis mission to learn much more about what we need to do. This launch has been 10 years in the making. So what's another few days? when you need 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust to lift a spacecraft off the ground, everything has to be just right. If it isn't, they'll be wasting billions of dollars. Writing a new chapter in space exploration is a costly business. They'll be hoping this is one small delay and not one giant setback. David Blevins, Sky News at Cape Canaveral, Florida.